Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome to my channel. Or if you're a returning viewer, then hi, nice to see you again. I'm so glad that you're back. And if you haven't already, certainly take a moment to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below so that you know whenever I post a new video. I do post on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, typically at 2 p.m. Central, but I have a feeling that today's video is going to be a little bit late. Just things were not cooperating with me. I was feeling very lazy, the weather outside was very overcast, so the lighting was not great, and there just was a ton of stuff going on that just was not conducive to filming so sorry that it's late but hopefully we can get back on track here pretty quick and also I did want to address the hat today so I do really like wearing hats just in general you've probably seen this particular one from Brixton several times um, but today it actually does have a purpose because we have been working on an addition to our house and if you've been following this channel you maybe already know that we are um, adding on so we're basically doubling the size of our house and we have a new master suite that we're working on and it's going really well yesterday I was actually painting the ceiling in our new master bedroom and I've been kind of looking at paint colors and it's really exciting but yeah because I was painting the ceiling then I have white paint all in my hair that I tried to get it all out but if it didn't get out I thought we'll just do a favor for both of us and wear a hat today. So anyway, um, yeah, that's where I am on all of that. But today's video is going to be a Knit Crate unboxing. And I am going to just quick mention that I was a little bit confused with my Knit Crate boxes. Uh, there was some weird stuff going on with the pandemic and everything. So I will explain all of that when I get to it. But before I get into the actual boxes, I did also want to share with you what I made from last month month's box. So the first item is this cowl here. This is the Overnight Cowl by Alexandra Halsey. It was the crochet project for last month, so February's Knit Crate, and I love this. It actually was featured in my um, hand knits in my spring wardrobe video, which I can link below if you want to check it out. I love it. It's got this really cool, like, what is it, a half double crochet spike? detail. I am not a crocheter, so I don't know a whole lot. I just kind of mess my way through it. Uh, and then it also has this really cool twist in the front, so it's a really easy piece to wear. I think it looks really pretty. It fits into my wardrobe perfectly. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that is my overnight twist cowl. Then moving on to the sock crate from February. I did get one sock finished, but oh my goodness, the past couple weeks have just been a little bit crazy. So yeah, I only got one done. These are the trellis socks by All Knit Up and they are a really cool pattern. I thought that it was going to be like a K2 together yarn over and that was it sort of thing, but it was not. It's actually got a lot more structure to it and it's really pretty. Very, very sparkly. I love that trellis detail on it. And then um, it does have a ribbed detail on the back here that I think is really cool as well. So yeah, really fun socks. I do need to finish the other one, but um, yeah, love that the color is really pretty. It's fun. It kind of adds a little bit more to my wardrobe because as you can tell, I am a neutral fan, which is one of the reasons that I really do like the uh, Knit Crate Surprise Me boxes. So yeah, speaking of surprise, let's hop into the Knit Crate boxes that I received from March. So as I said, this box was a little bit different just because of the ongoing pandemic and they do explain everything thing on their website so if I can find that I'll link it below for you so you can read it for yourself but from what I understand there are two different themes for this box so there's heartstrings which was originally supposed to go out in February but due to shipping delays and everything then it couldn't go out until March and then there was celestial which I believe was the one that was supposed to go out in March just regardless so I actually have one of each my sock crate is the heartstrings theme and then my knit crate my regular membership is the um, heartstrings so it's a little bit different but I am excited for it so let's just hop into the boxes that I have so I'm not going to go over the uh, projects from the main heartstrings uh, crate but I'll just share with you what I have so anyway 
Let's hop into this. So starting out with the sock crate here, like I said, the theme for this one is heartstrings and this card is where you can find the information on how to download the digital patterns. So um, I went ahead and <laughs> downloaded that to my phone here. So we're gonna take a quick look at those before I actually look at my yarn. And of course I do know what the yarn looks like and you're gonna like it, but we're just gonna follow the same pattern that I have for most of these videos. So the knit pattern in the sock crate are the composed socks by Laura Phelan Designs. And these are really very pretty, very simple, but they do have a lot of details going on here. So it looks like there's some different staggering designs of knit and purl stitches. So it's kind of like ribbing, but kind of not. I don't know. These are really kind of cool. They almost remind me of like a piano, right? Looks like piano keys. Maybe that's just me. I am really curious about the heel here. It almost looks like one of those fish lips kiss. Is that what it's called? Fish lips kiss heels. Um, but it's in reverse stockinette. So I'm really curious about that. I have a feeling that I'll probably be knitting up some socks, but I don't know quite yet. So let's move on to the crochet pattern. The crochet pattern is the Grass is Greener by Mommy Loves Yarn or Liz Salazar. These are cool. They do look like grass, don't they? Um, I don't know a whole lot about crocheting. I've only crocheted one pair of socks in my life. I enjoyed it, but I will also say these look a little bit complicated for me. I I don't know. The first pair that I'd done was a little challenging and this has like almost trees going through it. I don't know that I can do this, but if you are a crocheter, certainly let me know. Does this look like a complicated sock pattern or does it look like a standard one? I, I don't know. They are very, very cool though. So um, what is in my little box here or my little bag? I have a little extra. Um, this is a little car decal. It says my yarn stash has more mileage. I love that. That is funny. Um, I'm not huge on car decals, so I might uh, see if anyone at my local yarn store is interested, but um, yeah, the yarn itself is this one. So this is the Audine Wool's Dreamy Sock Yarn, and this is in the colorway More Coffee. I am such a coffee lover, and like I've said, I am huge on neutrals, so this is the perfect color for me. I love it, and let's see. It is 60% Superwash Blue Faced Leicester Wool. Is that how you say it? I have such a hard time with that. I try to go with just BFL, but anyway. Yeah, so 60% BFL, 20% alpaca, and 20% nylon. Feels pretty nice, I like it. The one thing that I have noticed, and maybe it's just me, but um, BFL wool, does it seem a little bit sturdier than some other yarns, or is that just me? I don't know. But yeah, love that, <laughs> very excited to start working with that. Moving on to the main crate here, I have my little card with the theme and this is the celestial one. And once again, it does tell you where to go ahead and download the patterns. So I went ahead and did that. So let's take a look at those before I look at the yarn. So for the knit pattern, uh, these are the paper let Paper Lantern Leg Warmers by Katrina King from the Threaded Dream Studio. And I'm just gonna say right away that I'm not really a leg warmer person. Uh, my daughter is in ballet, so maybe that would be a fun thing to try to do in a smaller size for her. But as for me, I've tried them before and it's just not my style, so um, I'm probably not gonna do these, but I do wanna look at the actual pattern here because I don't, quite understand. Oh, 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 that's interesting. Okay. So first of all, it starts out with a tubular cast on method. And if you've never used a, tab a tubular cast on and you are a knitter, definitely check it out. It has a really cool edge to it. It almost looks like nothing has happened. You've just started knitting out of nowhere. It's really pretty. And once you get the hang of it, 
it's pretty simple too. So yeah, love that. I actually do have a how to knit video that I'm hoping to do soon that does talk about the tubular cast on method. Um, but yeah, so then it starts with that and has a little bit of ribbing at the top and then it goes into a lace pattern, but it's an interesting lace pattern, isn't it? That looks pretty complicated, but the actual instructions, they're pretty simple. So yeah, very cool. I really like that, um, the construction of these. That's really cool. Moving on to the crochet pattern. These are the Moonflower Fingerless Gloves by Lee Sartori from Coco Crochet Lee. These are so pretty. They've got almost um, like granny squares going down the arm. I think that would be a really fun thing to do if I could figure out how to do it. I, I know I've mentioned this many, many times, but I dabble in crochet. I am not a confident crocheter. I'm not super good at it. So every once in a while I'll try to do something and it just doesn't work. So I'll rip it all up and decide to do the knit version instead. But this looks really fun. So um, yeah, I just want to look at the abbreviations here to see if I can kind of figure it out. It looks like it should be pretty simple. I mean, it's got back loop only, chain, double crochet, half double crochet, a popcorn stitch, which is not a difficult thing once you kind of get the hang of it. Um, it's worked in the round, which is fine. Single crochet. Yeah, it looks like the actual techniques used are pretty basic. So I don't know. I might try to do these. They're very pretty. I like those. So anyway, let's take a look at the yarn that I got and the extra. Oh, I forgot about the extra. Let me see if I can find the extra first. Okay, so this is another, oh, this is cute. This is another little um, car decal and it says honk if I dropped a yarn ball. And so these are the two that I have. One is kind of a blue little yarn ball and then the other one's pink. And uh, my daughter and I do have a thing for pink as well. So if I keep one, it'll probably be this one. I, I'm not 100% sure yet, but let's take a look at the yarn. So, oh, this is pretty. Like a dusty rose. If you guys have been on this channel for any length of time, you probably know that they did a very good job at picking my yarn this go round. It's very neutral, very basic, kind of bland. And I am that. I am very basic. I am very bland. I wish I was a little more interesting, but I'm just not. So anyway, this is the Vitalana Celestial Yarn in the colorway Demos. Demos? D-E-I-M-O-S. It's 90% alpaca and 10% tensile. Uh, it's an air and weight yarn. I have not worked with air and weight in quite a while. So that's kind of exciting. That was one of my favorite weights to work with when I was starting out actually. So kind of excited about this. This should be really fun. And I mean, it does, it matches everything in my house. So yeah, love that. So that is going to do it for my Knit Crate unboxing for this month. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did, certainly give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Hopefully next time I will be on time, but you never know. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!